Hey guys, um, here's this video that the testing coordinator, uh, the AP testing coordinator asked to, uh, for me to share with you. So let's run through it and um, certainly you can speed up, <laughs> speed up the delivery of this so that you can get through it more quickly. But it actually is pretty important for you to get all of your information and test security and procedures down so that you don't have any unpleasant surprises on test day. So, um, your AP Bulletin, that is gonna be replaced by uh, 2021 AP Exam Terms and Conditions, and there's the link for it. Please read it, maybe get your parents to read it. You're gonna have to acknowledge that you did actually read it and agree to the terms before taking the test, before talking, talking the exam. I did not write up this PowerPoint. So um, actually you're not supposed to talk about the exam. So how silly can that be? Uh, I think I'm gonna surprise my testing coordinator with that little uh, mess up. All right, so here's the schedule and you all have different ones that you've signed up for. And look at where ours is. It looks like it's the last one on the last day. And if I'm not mistaken, seniors, you're gonna have to come back to take it. So. If you do it, you have my undying gratitude and uh, all of the props that I could poss possibly give you because I know that when I leave the building for the day, I don't want to turn around and come back. So if I were leaving it for good, then I would really not want to come back. All right, so um, these are gonna be administered in person. Um, during the first College Board AP exam administration, I believe there's three different arrangements. So ours is May 3rd through the 17th, as you just saw here on campus. And um, yeah, so let's see, in-person administration of the AP exam includes students attending KVA. So KVA kids, there's no way you can take this thing at home. Uh, we're going to have COVID safety protocols in place, so you got to wear facial coverings, and um, I guess wherever they assign us to take it will be spread out. I hope so. That's, that's COVID safety protocols, so they should be doing it. Um, anybody who has an AP exam and an EOC on the same day will take the AP exam on the scheduled day. Uh, EOC assessment will be given on an EOC makeup day. Um, given everything, the end of course tests are taking a low priority. They're not counting in our school accountability. They're, they're there to see what chart, how the progress is coming for kids. And I suppose that can't be a bad thing because this uh, online learning is not everybody's thing. So anyway, that's the priority. Um, you guys for KVA, you can ride the bus to and from campus on the day of the exam. Um, if you arrive early or remain after the exam, you'll be in the main commons. Parents can pick you guys up to transport you home prior to the end of the school day. All right, KVA testing students are eligible for meals served on the scheduled AP exam days. Um, if you have back-to-back -back AP exams, bring your lunch. Like if they're on the same day, morning and afternoon, because there's no telling when they're going to dismiss um, you know the morning for lunch and then for the afternoon i've seen problems like the spanish one had problems with some kind of recorded material and that ran late and the poor kids just could not find a chance to eat so if you have something back to back definitely bring a bag lunch uh, ap uh, college board ap second testing window will uh, only be utilized for rare circumstances and must be approved by the campus administrator. Um, KDISD will not administer AP exams during the College Board third testing window. I don't know what those other two windows are. I'm sure you can do some research and look into them. Okay, so um, for 8 a.m. test, get here early, 7.15. You can check in to the room, whichever room you're scheduled for, uh, 30 minutes early. It's always good to get in early. Um, 12 p.m. test, uh, there's your arrival and check-in time. Same for a 2 p.m. test. Um, for all exams, students will need to enter the building through the main campus front entrance. 
you'll need to show your Cinco Ranch student ID upon entering the building. All right, check the CRHS website under the testing tab for test locations. All right, the deadline for submitting performance tasks, that's if you're in some kind of an art or some sort of portfolio um, uh, submission, has been extended until May 20th, 2021 by 1059. Uh, I hope that's PM, <laughs> but you may want to double check that, it doesn't say. Um, June 20th, uh, 2021 is the last day for students to change and indicate receipt of free score reports. Um, how, do you want, how do you know if your college or university will accept scores for credit? Um, we don't have that information for you. There's a lot of schools out there and we're no experts. So go to the college university website or go to the college board website at that link for college credit information. Um, can I take an AP exam if I haven't taken a course? And the answer is yes. Um, I've had kids who um, did, never took my course but took the stats exam. By the way, they got a five on it. So, so much for my teaching. Um, but I did answer questions for them and sort of help them along. And they didn't usually have too many. They somehow did the course work on their own and they did they do well but that's pretty rare all right on the day you should bring several sharpened number two pencils with erasers for completing multiple choice answer sheets please no mechanical pencils are allowed college board is big into that i don't know if it's a cheating issue but if your proctor sees you with a mechanical pencil that's going to be a problem so don't bring one uh, bring pens with black or dark blue ink. Uh, please don't b bring flower, f flowery colored ink, you know, like light blue, or sky blue, or anything like that. Just bring dark professional colors for completing areas on your exam booklet, um, whatever you have to fill in. Um, feel free to bring a watch, but if the thing beeps, that's bad. All right. If it has internet capability, then that's bad too, all right? So don't bring those, just don't. Um, the school can get cold. Whenever I teach you, you see me wearing this Cinco kind of a hoodie thing. That's because it's cold. I'm always cold in the building. So it's better that you dress in layers and you can dress down than if you don't dress in layers and you want to try to stay warm because you won't be able to. Um, you can bring up to two approved calculators for exam that need it. I wouldn't freak out about approved calculators. Anything Texas Instruments will be fine. And that's what we've been working with this year. Um, ruler or straight edge for physics. Um, that doesn't apply to us, but if you are taking a physics exam, kids are notorious for not bringing them. And don't count on the school having enough for everyone. Um, school ID or a driver's license for ID. Please bring that for every single test. And if you have an accommodation, bring the letter that shows approval for that if it applies to you. Okay, um, on the test day, bring a lunch if you have two tests on the same day. You will not have time to get a lunch in the cafeteria, all right? So you have been warned. And I can't stand testing when I'm on an empty stomach. It's just, that's just too much of a distraction for me. Again, school ID or driver's license. Um, uh, not make appoint. Don't make any appointments on test days, like um, you know, dental appointments, doctor's appointments, driver's license appointments, um, because um, you can't leave early. And if the test runs late, you can't leave early. All right, you just can't leave when you're done. So you all get released at the same time. Um, I would prefer you didn't bring cell phones or backpacks. That's what they're, they're saying. Uh, I know that you may have to call for a ride, but um, you know, th that's what they're saying. Don't bring it. So, And no food or drink while testing. So I guess that includes water. So get hydrated ahead of time. All right, so when registering for my AP, each student has a unique ID that'll be used to label exam materials. 
Um, you can access this unique ID from myapp.collegeboard.org and then going to the registration tab under my AP, uh, my AP profile. Please make sure you know your AP ID number. You need that in order to fill out the paperwork. So maybe I think if you go on to AP Classroom, it's going to be the same ID. So go on there, maybe do some practice for the AP exam, whether it's mine or somebody else's. And yeah, you know, get that ID number. Make sure you have it. So no backpacks, no highlighters, anything electronic. There's a whole list of them here. I'm not going to read it to you. You can pause the video and read them yourself. Uh, no books, no compasses, no mechanical pencils. There it is again. No colored pencils, correction fluid, dictionaries, or notes. All right, so don't bring that stuff. No earplugs. That, that could be cheating, okay, or it could be viewed as. Scratch paper, don't bring it. There's plenty of room on your exams to do scratch work. Um, as, uh, separate timers of any type, so don't bring those things. Um, I don't know, it doesn't say highlighters. Um, I'm not sure you can bring those either. I would probably opt out. Um, so no computers, no reference guides, keyboard maps or any other typing instructions, watches that beep or have an alarm, please don't bring those. Um, portable listening or recording devices, even with headphones or photographic equipment. See, that's the issue with the cell phones. They take beautiful pictures. You do it every day to upload homework for me. No food or drink, okay? Um, clothing with subject-related information. I'm so glad we're not doing a stats t-shirt this year. I mean, I wish we were, but every year some kid wears it, and there's some statistical idea on there, and they realize it just as they're walking in, and then they have to duck into a bathroom and turn it, you know, flip it to backwards, inside out, not backwards, inside out, and hilarity ensues. So don't bring anything that looks like you could cheat off it. No clipboards. Um, all right, so you're allowed calculators. Um, you can look up what are allowable calculators, but if you have an 84 type or an Inspire type of any kind, you should be good to go. Um, Casios, for the most part, are fine. If you have any calculator with a QWERTY keyboard on it, you know, just like a typewriter, that's bad. Now you do have a keyboard on an Inspire and that's okay because it goes in alphabetical order. That's why I can barely use it because my fingers want to jump around like, a, like on a keyboard. But the, um, so nothing like a keyboard that you would type on, but the kind of keyboard that is on an Inspire is fine. All right, um, AP uh, program maintain strict test administration and test security procedures to prevent any testing incidents or improper conduct to maintain a fair and equitable environment. So test security involves accounting for all the uh, secure materials and confidential students information before, during, and after each test administration. I've administered tests like this and they are big time into security. All right, so examples of misconduct. This is where you really need to uh, uh, tune in. All right, um, an AP teacher interviews students after the exam to gather information about specific multiple choice questions or any questions. I am not gonna ask you what was on the AP exam. I might ask you if it was doable, that's it. Uh, a student takes an AP exam on a day or at a time when it is not supposed to be administered. Um, I, I don't think that'll be an issue. Um, if you're observed with electronic equipment, so phone, smartwatch, or wearable technology of any kind like a Fitbit or a smartwatch, laptop, tablet computer, Bluetooth device, portable listening or recording device, MP3 player, iPod, etc., camera or any other photographic equipment, device that can access the internet, whoops, none of those, separate timers of any type or any other electronic or communication devices in the exam room or break area. So yeah, you don't want to be communicating anything about that test through the internet to anyone. 
someone post to this, this last one see how it's in bold posting to any form of social media unreleased exam content at any time the score will be canceled no retest permitted and the individual may be banned from future testing all right so if you go on to social media and say wow that frq number four was a real real nasty one and you start talking about it i am un i have been told that college board has people that are scanning through social media now social media is a big big place so i you know maybe the chances are small that they would land on you but they're not zero so just keep quiet all right this is such a big violation that um they they will they will <laughs> they'll just ban you okay so let's not go to there let's not go there all right some more attempting to give or get assistance anyone including but not limited to the ap coordinator the proctor school staff members of the media and students takes photos in the exam room during an exam trust me i can go nowhere near where your exam or any exams so i won't be anywhere near it so <laughs> i'm not, my camera won't be involved so examples include viewing or capturing images with a cell phone on test day or being caught with a cheat sheet containing test content answer keys or any other content that would provide an unfair advantage look i'm giving you information on stuff you already should know right just be an upstanding honest citizen and this should all be fine all right so consequences a breach of exam security could result in the invalidation of exam scores for individual students or for all students taking that particular exam at the school all right you can get the entire school in trouble not just you any breach places the campus in jeopardy there it is of not being allowed to offer AP exams in the future and held liable for fi financial damages incurred by College Board. All right, these people are not messing around. All right, so don't don't play games. Study for your exams, take your exams, earn a passing grade, move on. All right, it's a great way to get college credit to shorten, you know, uh, you know your bachelor's earning degree level and to save money. So don't mess it up by trying to get cute, all right? So the College Board will prohibit individuals from taking the SAT, SAT subject tests, or AP exams if it is proven that they have deliberately gained or attempted to gain or share an unfair advantage on any College Board test or otherwise threaten the integrity of the test. These folks don't play games. All right no one other than the students taking the exam is allowed access to the multiple choice questions at any time they guard these things students seal their multiple choice uh, test booklets at the end of the administration and are not permitted to share information about these questions with anyone including me after the exam is over so if i seem like i'm asking tell me to shut up if if you seem like you're asking i will politely ask you to refrain all right multiple choice test content may never be shared so there it is for the rest of your life it's mums the word shared copied in any manner or reconstructed by students or teachers after the exam so i'm in this too all right the section 2 booklet containing the free response questions may never be copied the only free response items that may be discussed are the items that College Board releases on their website two days after the regular exam administration. So I will see your FRQ and I may work through them and I work through them and I get all excited and I think, wow, kids are going to want to know how I answered it. And then I start doing it and kids are like, dude, I'm done with this. Just leave me alone. So I probably won't do that anymore. So uh, not all items are released. If someone is in doubt, then items should not be discussed. Late or alternative exams will never be released and may never be discussed in any way. Um, violation of these rules, your score is invalid. So due to exam conflicts, in other words, register to take two AP exams scheduled at the same time, some students may have been moved to the second testing window, May 18th through the 28th, you can look in your College Board account to see which exams you may be taking in the second window. 
if this applies to you. We will be sending emails through your total registration account giving you this information as well if you're affected by it. Uh, you should not talk or try to find your AP teacher on the day of the exam. This could lead to the invalidation of your exam. So I will be thinking good thoughts about you. I will be interceding in a meta metaphysical sense for you on that day, but I won't be seeing you. All right, digital testing practice is available. Um, if you go to that website, cb.org AP 2021 exam app to download an app and install the digital testing app on your personal device, you can open it, log in with your College Board username and password, and you'll be able to access digital practice exams for the exams that you're registered for. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's going to be any kind of an improvement over AP Classroom or what I'm giving you, but it's here, so that's it. All right, so I'm done with that. Um, all you need to do is open up the quiz. It's labeled according to what you just saw. That is the quiz code. You answer the quiz code. You pick the number 9505 out of a choice of four different numbers, and you get 100. I'm counting it as a Canvas quiz, a quiz grade, because we need quiz grades, and why not? Get a free one. So on that note, I appreciate that you are watching, and um, take care of the quiz, and I'll see you soon. Bye.